good morning welcome to another video of of woods and words so today this episode i guess we're going to call it uh grapple and guide so i've only made two videos this is our third one so hopefully i'm going to improve as time goes on and so stick with me be patient but one thing i've noticed through the analytics of the uh where you uh do the studio and all this kind of stuff uh the editing and all that it kind of tells you how long people watch people are not really sticking to the end and uh i understand i gotta get a little bit more interesting and exciting and stuff but uh i've been i've been showcasing some farm work at the beginning and just very little bible we're talking uh about god at the end so today i'm gonna do it the other way around if you're gonna watch anything i hope you I mean, this is gonna take a minute so stick to it when i get done with this I'm going to jump on the tractor. I've got, uh, we had that flood and the waters went down and uh, there were some trees that's over a road and some limbs and things like that. And a couple things around the yard here, I'm going to use the grapple. So a little grapple action, some land pride grapple action on the Kubota B26. I was, I, I was reading, uh, since Easter's coming up here in a couple weeks, uh, which I jump around the Bible anyway, but I thought I'm going to read the Gospels from now till Easter or whatever. So, and I stumbled on something the other day I was just thinking about, it made me think. Uh, some people in this world, this world's tough. Some people, they don't have a dad or they don't have a mom. So a single parent. Uh, but one thing is awesome. One thing Jesus told us a lot in the Bible, he kept repeating our father. So even though I've got an earthly dad, my dad had an earthly dad. My son's got me as an earthly dad. Whether you have a dad or not here, and I know it stinks if you don't, because I think you need that, especially if they're a good dad, but we all have one thing in common. We all have an, a heavenly father. Uh, he created everything, and it says it over and over in the Bible, but like in Matthew 5, well, we'll start with Matthew 6. <clears throat> Wait, this car goes by here. I got my dog. I just put him up, my little puppy, Beagleham, Boda, and he's a... Uh, He's hearing me talk now, so he's one out. But just like here, it says, uh, this is, uh, like I said, Matthew 6. Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and the streets, that they may have glory before men. In other words, you're giving to people. Uh, just do it kind of quietly. You know, don't let the left hand the left hand know what the right hand is doing. God knows what you're doing, right? But it, what, I really want to show you, you can see some underline. Hopefully y'all can see that. Your father, uh, here's another one that says, and your father. It says, but you, when you pray, this is Jesus teaching people how to pray. When you pray in the secret place, and your father who sees in secret, secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. So just tell God what you're thinking. Many words don't mean a lot. It's uh, just your heart. But again, you know, your father. And then uh, I'm almost done. Therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things that you have need of before you ask him. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father, Jesus is saying, you know, he's my Father, but he's your Father too. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts and as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen, meaning truth. So, Anyway, that's it. I just want, here's, here's why I'm saying this though. So. I don't care if, what, how bad your life is. You do have a father. We all do in heaven. If you read this Bible and learn it, he's going to be with you. So that's all I got. Let's go jump on the tractor.
I greased this like a week ago, so I'm not gonna grease it today because we didn't do a whole lot with it. Sometimes this is hard to put on. Sometimes it's, it's easy to put this on, sometimes it's hard to get the hydraulic hoses to go in. That one didn't, well, that one wasn't too bad. It's all about if you release the pressure correctly when you took it off. The other day, I think these went on good. The other day, I thought I had them on. As soon as I went to activate them, one of them went boom, blew off. So let's see, let's test it. Every now and then, every now and then it works right. Let's go down here. Now you see my problem. So, this whole bottom section, you see the river right here. That's the back of my land. So, all this flooded right here, okay? And then when the water goes down, at least, some of these were floated in, some were knocked down, I would say. You see, I cut these trees right here. So, that's that, got floated in. So, we'll just move this and throw it over here. I'm not worried about burning it, you know, just let it ride over here on the side. I'll tell you another thing, anytime it floods, I'll just real quick, I'll show you all this. I'm gonna show you live. There's trash everywhere, so. Now that it's starting to dry up, which is gonna rain this afternoon, but probably sometime this week, I'll have to bring the Pioneer down here with some five gallon buckets or whatever. Here's an oil can. Look at that trash right there. Anytime people litter, I hate it because it gets in the rivers, man, plastic bottles. And I wanna do a kayaking video. I have to wait till this summer to do the particular one I'm talking about. Plan on doing some with fishing and stuff too, but man, when this river goes down in the summer, it's beautiful, okay? Even in South Central Kentucky, it's pretty. It's almost like you're out west. Uh, but every now and then there'll be like limbs, like a log jam, and it'll be an island of water bottles. That ain't pretty, and it's, it, and it's uncalled for. I hate water bottles, and yeah, I'm guilty of buying them every now and then too. Look, there's more trash. There's trash all over, all over here. I have to look at this. You can see something like right up here. So anyway, that's enough on the trash story. There's more. There's more. We'll be picking all this up. Ain't no telling how much trash. I'll tell you what. I'll show in another video how much trash we collected.